That was fucking sexy, huh, guys? That intro was made by my friend Rambo Brando. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. And anyway, uh, this was a uh, money and dank triple Moab. I was kind of patrolling this building. Okay, camping, whatever, you know, because they spawn right there and they would spawn in front of the bomb. So it would be the perfect, you know, vantage point to take them out. Anyway, I want to tell you guys a little personal story from when I was younger about how I lost my faith in religion. Now, don't be. Don't get getting a don't go getting offended, you know. Um, I'm not gonna talk about all oh, you know science, you know the internet, the Big Bang, you know. No, none of that. Trust me. When I was young, when I was around 10 years old, um, me and my fam well, most of my family were Catholics, but then we for some reason we just switched to um, Jehovah Witnesses. But I didn't know back then. I was just like, oh, we're Jehovah Witnesses, all right, whatever. We would go. To church twice a week for three hours each session was three hours long uh every week this lady would come to the house and she would you know it, it was like a i guess like a personal study you know she'd tell me okay read this story i'm gonna come next week and ask you questions you know and i was really you know i was really into it you know i really took it seriously and um there's this some we did that for about a it was like a year and um it was a, all I remember it was like around June or July it was a summer we had just got done moving to our new house um so we we wake up it's Sunday morning well the the day the the incident that happened that changed my life we wake up Sunday morning, get ready to go to church, you know, my brother hops into the shower, you know, first day, you know, breaking into the new shower, he hops in there, he gets out, he's ready to go, I'm like, oh, okay, my turn, I hop into the shower, you know, I'm showering, you know, doing my thing, you know, scrubbing my balls, you know, pampering my balls, you know, gotta go in there with clean balls, I'm sorry, anyway, um, I turn around, you know, to grab the shampoo, you know, or grab the soap or something, and I end up slipping, and my chin ended up my chin ended up hitting the edge of the bathtub and the impact was so hard that it made my one of my front teeth go all the way up to my gums like it was just gone it was just disappeared you know i was bleeding all over the bathtub my parents were like saying oh what was that loud noise and i couldn't speak or anything so all i do is i crawl out of the bathtub i grab the towel cover my junk unlock the door my parents open the door they see me there on the floor bleeding they're freaking out like what happened and blah 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 and they put me over the sink and I'm just bleeding all over the sink and then after the bleeding stopped for a little while they put me in the car we go to the hospital and then there the doctors sit me in the fucking bed they're like sticking their fingers up my mouth it's just really painful I'm just there crying you know saying why like what what happened you know like why and then people from church, some lady, I don't remember, from oh, some guy from the church came along and he's like, oh, don't worry, you know, God is watching over you and blah, blah, blah. And then I had a lot of time to think. I was in the hospital for like two hours, three hours before they released me. And I was thinking, why? Why would God, you know, if he really is out there watching over us, then why would he want this for me? You know, what did I do? You know, I do my studies you know I was a good kid I was doing I would do great in school you know I was I was just I was fine you know I was, I was a good kid and then it was a long recovery process I was at least it was a month or I could not chew anything I was always in pain I they gave me a bunch of painkillers um, there's nothing they could really do, you know? I went to a bunch of dentists and all the dentists told me your tooth is naturally going to come down. And yeah, it eventually did. I lost a lot of weight too because all I, all, would have, all I would eat were soups and all that. Okay, anyway, besides the point. That's when I got to thinking, it's like, there's no way there's a God. If there was, he would not let this happen. He would not let someone commando lunge me like that. <laughs> and um, he would not let all these bad things happen in the world, you know? Like... I had just recently lost a family member too, so that didn't help at all. And that's when I thought to myself, you know, it's like this is this is this is not for me, you know, this is not this is, this cannot happen, you know. 
So, you know, that's when I made up my mind that, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, listen to this stuff anymore, you know? So, you know, it was... I don't know, I think it's pretty crazy for a kid my age to make a, such a rash decision like that on his own. You know, I don't know, maybe I was just... Heat of the moment, whatever. I hope none of you guys get offended by my story, you know, saying that I'm not a believer, you know. I respect your, you know, your beliefs and all that. I hope you can respect mine. Oh, and by the way, a little quick story. My real name isn't Chip, as a lot of you guys know. My real name is Ernest, which uh, sounds horrible. Um, little side story that kind of relates. Um, oh, actually, I was there bullied, actually, for about my tooth, because my tooth was always, it's obviously crooked. It still is. I can fix it now, you know, all I need is braces, but, you know, it's actually who I've become, you know, it's like my persona now. In seventh grade, um, I meet some new friends and they're like, hey, your chip is, I mean, your chip, what the fuck, your tooth is chipped, huh? And I was like, uh, I guess, you know, yeah, I guess you could say it's chipped. And they're like, you know what, we're gonna call you chip. And they're like, <laughs> you know, fine by me, you know, that's, that's fine. And ever since then, it's stuck. So I've been known as chip since seventh grade. So that's pretty crazy. Oh, and my friend one time he was making up weird um, words with our names, and so he's looking at me like, you know, what? Chip, Chip, uh, Chip, Chipocity, you know, Chipocity. I was like, ah, that sounds pretty cool. And ever since then, you know, the name Chipocity also, you know, stuck. It's the stuff I use for most of my usernames, you know, my gamer tag, obviously. So you know, if my friend Jude is watching this, shout out to you. You're the one who labeled me Chip and gave me the name Chipocity, so you're awesome. So yeah, you guys, that's the end, you know. I guess if anything good came out of it is that I got my awesome name, nicknames, and I lost a lot of weight when I was younger because I would not eat anything. So let, we're going to end this with an awesome clutch. Bam, and look at that. Shit, playing the bomb and shit. So I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Like I said, don't get offended, you know. Um, so yeah, you know, if you enjoyed this, um, story, leave a like button, you know, if you got offended, dislike, I guess. Anyway, guys, talk to you guys later. I love you.